Today I'm going to show you how to make your own Berkey generic equivalent, or maybe even better, water system. And the cost of this was about uh, 30, about 40 bucks. These two filters, and then they come with a, a, a sock that goes over the filter like this. This is 10 micron. This is 0.2 micron. But it goes over like this and you tie it up. I'm not going to use that. I'm just choosing to clean it. As a matter of fact, when it gets, when the flow slows down, the filtration flow slows down, you just take this and clean it up like that. You just, you take a, a, a 3M Scotch Bright pad. That comes with this, by the way. Um, so this is, that's, that's what it is. Uh, I actually read the instructions and all you need is two buckets. And I know somebody's gonna ask me, See that? That right there shows that it is HDPE with the recycling symbol of two. What that means is this is food grade right here. Let's talk about types of plastics. Uh, specifically, we want to talk about the buckets that we're using. And here, here it is. All plastic products in the U.S. and Canada carry a symbol with them and a number ranging from one to seven in that symbol. These symbols mean the same thing in both countries. Not all types of plastic though are suitable for all types of food. It's actually a, a, a recycling symbol. Many food grade plastic containers fall into the high density polyethylene or HDPE category as these blue buckets from Lowe's. It has excellent chemical resistant properties, making it suitable for a wide range of foods and other products. For example, most juice or milk containers have and five gallon buckets are made of HDPE. That'd be high density polyethylene. In the US and Canada, HDPE products have a plastic code of two. Again, see the chart. Another common form of food grade plastic is polyethylene terra Okay, PET or PETE, -E. these carry a plastic coat of one and are often used for products like salad dressing, peanut butter, and jelly jars. Uh, another concern, though, is BPA. And what is BPA? Biphenol A, I think that's how it's pronounced, is an extraordinarily well-studied building block chemical used primarily to manufacture durable epoxy resins and strong, clear polycarbonate plastics like the your head your headlights on your car or your glasses that you're wearing in recent years a great deal of attention is focused on the bpa and to make it materials to come in contact with foods which are approved by the u.s food and drug administration this one is mayo from mayo clinic it says use bpa free products well i just pointed out that hdpe is bpa free and then avoid heat. And then here's a good one though. Focus on fresh whole foods and use alternatives. Like the Berkey is the best using a stainless steel container. You gotta pay for it, but that's the best way to go. Glass, porcelain, or stainless steel. Two lids, it goes like this. And then this goes on the top, which... And then you need a half inch spade bit and a three quarter inch spade bit. That way you can put your spigot in the bottom one and then you can connect the top one but they have the, the little nipple in the bottom here that is half inch and it connects through the lid you'll see that in a minute but it's pretty simple and this is 0.2 micron yeah, 2.2 micron ceramic filter. And it includes the, the dispenser. You've got the bucket lid and the bucket. And I chose the, the Lowe's bucket because it's darker in color. It's better to have a darker uh, water in a dark container. Bucket nestles nicely, sort of, on this lid. So then what I'm going to do is I'll drill the two holes 
here and here, all the way through the bucket and the lid. Here we go. Now I've taken the lid and taped it on four spots so it doesn't move around at all. And it's nicely centered, I checked. So it's, it's as good as it's gonna be. So now the trick is, let's put a uh, half inch bit in there. So this is half inch for sure. And the other bit I need is three quarter inch for the spigot. All right, here we go. We want to hit it right on the mark I made and we want it to go in reverse. See that? We're going to reverse. Perfect. So now we take that off. I just use, again, I use painter's tape. Uh, use what you got. So what I'm going to need to do is deburr this. Because it's got two seals. Give yourself the best chance for success. There you go. So now it's time to assemble. We got this one off. We have a washer there. Put this washer down, all the way down, like that. There, there's our filter system, right there. We put this guy here, snap our bucket down. In the instructions, they say to rinse and let these soak for 30 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Let them soak. And it had a little bit of adhesive on it, stuck to it, right here. And so I just took my 3M cloth and gave it a quick clean, and now it's gone. So now they're rinsed. Now we'll rinse them off and install them. Okay, so it looks like this is the inside part, and then our washers, they're thick silicone washers. Not sure if I like that spigot or not, but I happen to have other ones. Should be the trick. Now the important part is that we don't drill our hole there. so we again we're gonna we, we want to turn the drill backwards so now the question is where do we want our hole you can see the impression where the bottom is how close do I want this to the bottom you know it doesn't have to be perfectly to the bottom you don't have to get every last drop. You could always pour it out if you had to. So, let's get our tape measure out. What do you think? Right here? That looks good. So, let's do it. There we go. So that gasket's good and good and squeezed. This gasket looks good. All right. There's their system right there. And we'll put this one like that. Voila. There it is. 
fill it. So I collect spring water down at the uh, down the road, and I put it in these jugs and some one gallon jugs. So now I'm going to remove that and install my system. Filtered water. This is what this looks like. So it's not too unsightly. So now we'll fill it. Here's the lid. So we'll be put, putting the lid on like so. And that's it. It doesn't have to be snapped on or anything, just so the dust doesn't get in. This is what it looks like inside. Hear that? The filters are doing their thing. Another reason why I like these filters is you, you saw how tall they were, right? The Berkey one is like seven or eight inches tall. The Berkey one actually goes like up to here. Well, when the water levels here, this filter is filtering 100%. The Berkey, which is thinner or has a smaller diameter, like two inches versus four inches, like what we just put in, but it's, uh, it's taller and, and the filter effective, effectiveness is very minimal at the top, but it uses a lot. And then it gets slower and slower. So really, this is a better design, having the filter closer to the bottom. So now it's complete. This shot here shows the spigot and the water gauge, the glass water gauge I've added to it. That way I know how full the bucket is since it's a dark colored bucket. And uh, it's working great. Thanks for watching.